Hey, this is Dub McKagan, and you're watching Loudwire. Airports, take your shoes off and your fucking belt. Take your laptop out of your computer, out of your, take your laptop out of your backpack. Put the shit in the tray and walk through. Because the lady who's yelling at you from TSA is, she's also like 10 inches from my ear too. And you see my daughters, they got their stuff already in the tray. Go Google it before you go to the airport if you've never been on a fucking plane before. Sarah Palin, I shit you not, we were at the SeaTac airport. I think she made a little move on the McKagan. It was at the Starbucks. It was creepy. She was like leering from afar. Star Wars, nerds. I actually haven't seen that movie, believe it or not. I was uh, in punk rock bands then. Tanning booths. Go there before you go. To, if you're going to go to South America, it's our winter. It's their summer. Go to the tanning booth first. Once. Country music. It's getting big. It's a big thing. Now, I'm a kind of a... I've seen Merle Haggard with my, my buddy a couple times. I love the old country music. I'm not sure... There's, I saw the Country Music Awards this year. It was entertaining as fuck, actually, now that I think about it. Vince Gill, the man's man. Johnny Cash. Is that country music or is that, like, that's just American. Tom Brady. Hey, you know why you wear a Patriots jersey to, a, to an exam? Because you can cheat and get away with it. No, I'm, I don't care about that, actually. It's a joke I just heard. Um, Tom, I don't really care. I don't, I think he's a great quarterback and I think probably they, every quarterback deflates or inflates a ball. If the NFL would just hold on to the balls, if they just keep the balls, cradle the balls in a safe place, that's Kardashians. <clears throat> Fuck. Come on. Miley Cyrus, I backed the fuck out of her. She's great. And I met her dad on stage. And I thought it was like some drunk guy. She's been a good influence on the girls. Like she's changed and kind of grown up, went from Hannah Montana to this kind of strong woman. Like I do what I want and it's good for girls. I know because I got two of them. Twitter, so cool, so good. Self flushing toilets, sounds like a great idea. Like you don't, you wouldn't, is that like people with blinkers on their cars? Like, I don't know if they do that here in New York, but in LA. It's just a little switch. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And it shows me, indicates to me what you're doing. Like it helps everybody. And it's really just a little, you're already, your hand's already up there. You just have to do this. And then I know what you're doing. And everybody else does. But if you don't put on your fucking blinker and you just switch lanes in front of me, it might, like I might, freak out and cause me to have some sort of mishap. And it's just a little, so self-flushing, just flush your own fucking toilet. 